but people want to chime in. People did we create the in. video? We did, did not. Did we put it out? Certainly not. Did we create the $22 million program studying them? We did not. Last Are time we I the checked. guy that was part of the program, who, by the way, has a vested interest, who said that alien life is out there? Yeah, we're just talking about it. That's all. Just discussing it. Hey, I saw the autopsy on Fox years ago. <laughs> yes, we all have. It's terrible television. Let's go to the phones. 800-636-1067. What do you make of the video that was released? By the way, if you haven't seen it, we put a link on our Facebook page. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash the junks. Let's go to John in Oxon Hill. What's up, John? Good morning. Hey, what's up, John? Just, uh, it's glad to be, I'm glad to be on and everything like that. Thank you. Um, hey. Uh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Hey, um, I I think that study is great. You know, I mean, I think I think what they're doing, you know, with the twenty two million dollar program is great and everything. But I didn't need to see those videos for me to believe in uh, in UFOs or aliens. And and honestly, I mean, I think it's kind of naive to say, you know, you think it's our government, you know, testing out technology and stuff. I mean, to me, honestly, I mean, that kind of sounds like a cop out. Um, aliens were seen by the Egyptians. You know, I mean, there were in ancient times people wrote on walls seeing you know stuff in the sky uh, columbus even wrote about you know seeing aliens and things like that and and i mean i i really you know i, I um i've heard of people getting abducted um i heard the story of uh this couple was driving they were taking like a two-hour trip and their trip took five hours and they couldn't remember exactly what happened and they got put under hypnosis and they said they got abducted by aliens you know, and oh uh, I mean, I, I, I think I'm, I'm serious. I, I just, I, I really, I really think it's real. I mean, w my theory is this: when the aliens, they don't come and visit us, or they don't come talk to us as people. We, we don't. I, I really think they're, they're coming to spy, not spy on us, but they want to come see Earth. Like they want to come see, you know, different land masses or whatever. And, and I think the government, I think the government really doesn't want us John, to know I until they you know. John, I chime in, and I'm just curious. Right, no problem. What do you do yeah. for a living? Uh, I, I, I deliver windshields, uh, at night. <laughs> okay. That's good. Solid so, yep. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I, 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 I haven't studied the whole Egyptian theory. No, I don't, I don't know whether Columbus actually <laughs> saw the aliens or not. I haven't read his works. I mean, I just haven't. I don't know if he published back in the day. 800-636-1067. Let's go to our friend Mo in Largo. What's up, Mo? Good morning, fellas. Thanks for taking my call. Yep. Let me start off by saying, Cakes, I'm I'm impressed. I'm a bit surprised that you didn't give the last call to the gas face because I just knew that was. <laughs> but I, and you got to give him some leeway. Uh, look, I, um, everybody has theories. I'll let I'll let yeah. people go with their wackadoo theories. It's fine. Understood. Understood. Uh, I'm. I mean, I'm a little bit held back with the topic. I mean, I, I, I do understand the perspective of it being naive to think that we're the only life form out here. I mean, there's so much space out there to think that we're the only thing that was ever created to communicate and live. You know, that's a, that's a little bit, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of selfish thinking, you know. So, I mean, I, I think there is another life form out there. I don't know how much validity is within this, you know, this report or whatnot. But, I mean, I think there might be something else out there. Everybody don't lie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's so many reports, and I, but it's God, nothing it's concrete, there. Mo. Uh, it, it's it, nothing it's concrete. Like, say, it's always a AP. distant video. What if there was concrete evidence? Well, How then do you I think buy the into it. Handle that. You think the public will handle that? Go crazy. What are you gonna do? You still gotta wake up and go. I mean, look how crazy. people say the people are gonna go crazy. Look how crazy people go without any evidence. You got. Kids of people out there crazy as hell thinking that there are aliens doing crazy stuff. Imagine if we had concrete evidence that there was aliens out there. Life goes on. Yeah, I mean, what, go if, what if one ship showed up to San Diego and yes. just peered in? They wanted to observe what humans did on this planet. Big deal. You still people got, like I said, you, you got to go on with your day. It. People would lose it. You crazy. People would lose it. But if, a, if a ship dropped out the sky right now in D.C., you think people wouldn't lose oh, it right full now? full-on panic. I mean, the, the roads. <laughs> Are you serious? Ser Gridlock <laughs> everywhere. There will be pandemonium. People be rioting. People be Absolutely. looting. Absolutely. Come on, man. Full-scale chaos. Hey. What are you going to do about it? You, 
Mo brings up a good point. What if, if there's a ship? If an alien ten... spaceship landed on the on the uh, the mall in DC, right. it would thrust the entire country in a full fledged. What if panic? it was just one silly ET? Like ET, <laughs> like actually ET yes. rolled out, and he's picking up Reese's right. pieces. And, and how'd they handle that in the movie? Yeah, but the government came and wanted to pwn him. That's what they right. did. Well, yeah, because they want information. They want right. technology. And then he he phoned home. He he took the, the, <laughs> right. the he took the ti like calculator. He called his spaceship. And they came and picked he him rode up. His bike and everything. They hooked him. Saw a big big light in the sky. We don't we have much Air Force bases around here, Cakes? At least got Andrews. Uh, yeah. I know that there are a bunch. Yes, I'm guessing there are ships. That are on the cutting edge that we're not aware of, which maybe 25 years from now we're going to be aware of, like we're aware of the stealth bomber. Yeah, you could and be. They right. probably have capabilities. We're going to soon be in driverless cars, cakes. They exist.